A massive structure in Italy meant to inspire the ecological awakening of humanity can trace its foundation to the welding expertise and facilities at Pennsylvania College of Technology. And I don't think it's fully sunk in yet what it's going to mean to everybody and to everything, but it's definitely a, a big deal. Penn College in Williamsport, PA is creating a huge structure and a piece of art for Italy. Like, who would have thought? Nine welding instructors and 15 students fabricated the structural skeleton for the Living Chapel, unveiled recently at the Botanical Garden of Rome. The open-air sanctuary is destined for a stay at the Vatican before being moved to its permanent home in Assisi, Italy, the birthplace of St. Francis, the patron saint of ecology. The amount of work and, um, and effort that these uh, faculty and students put into this is tremendous and something that few institutions can do, and I'm really proud to be a part of that. The Penn College folks are heroes in terms of the, the mammoth, gargantuan tasks that they tackled and accomplished. That task required the faculty and students to work a collective 3,500 plus hours during a 10-week window to build four aluminum walls, ranging in height between 10 and 15 feet. The walls connect at various angles to create a structure measuring 45 feet long by 30 feet wide. Today, most of the walls are covered by 3,000 evergreen leaves and flowers grown north of Venice. The aluminum is used as a visual element for the fourth wall, called the chime wall. It consists of aesthetic pieces made of metal scrap and steel pans serving as drums when struck by mallets powered by circulating water. A lot of us looked at it as it was a project that you know, we wanted to do for the, for the school, for the program. It was really important for us to get as many students involved as we could because this is one of those projects that I think is going to last a lifetime. It was cool working hand in hand um, with the instructors for sure because it's kind of like takes the whole teacher aspect out of it and it becomes like another welder that you're working with. And it's great to see our teachers so involved and so committed to something because their dedication made me more dedicated to the project. The creative force behind the project is music composer Julian Ravi, who was inspired in part by Pope Francis's call to safeguard the environment. Ravi worked with Vatican officials to develop the concept of a portable artistic installation made of recycled and repurposed materials for ecological impact. When you enter into the space, you're enveloped by this holistic experience that is intended to be this instance of serene harmony between humanity and nature. To design the space, Ravi turned to his friend, Penn State alum Gillian Denny, an independent architectural designer. It's part garden sculpture, part theater set, eventually going to be a permanent structure. Um, so just the jigsaw puzzle of trying to figure out how that would work was an intriguing one. Denny enlisted the support of architecture students at Penn State to help with design aspects and to devise decorative elements from 1,500 pounds of scrap donated by automotive metal stamping plants. Once Penn State was involved, then they told us the team to get this done is at Penn College. They have the team and the facility and the capacity to take on something that is quite ambitious and large scale on a tight time frame. Could not function without them. They've not only been instrumental in actually fabricating it, but helping us to work through the design of it to make design changes to make it easier and better to build it. The Penn College crew used nearly 5,000 feet of aluminum, the equivalent of about 16 football fields in length, to get the job done in the school's recently expanded welding lab. All of us have to go back and uh, rethink about fabrication and how we fabricate things, especially aluminum, and how aluminum will move and distort. We end up using a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of protractors, a lot of levels to you know, maintain the angle. So it's definitely a lot, of, a lot of cutting, a lot of laying out. The faculty and students applied nearly 5,000 one-inch welds to erect the structure. With limited student availability during winter break and facing a deadline, 10 to 12 hour workdays became the norm for faculty. Definitely toward, toward the end there, we were wondering if we'd make it and, uh, on time and we were still welding on pieces as they were loading them in the truck. I am extremely grateful to the Penn College uh, faculty, students, admin for welcoming this rather unusual project. It would not, absolutely would not have happened if Jim and the rest of the gang here hadn't uh, gotten on board. They are, they're working a miracle. 
The fabricated walls were transported to Penn State in late January and then shipped to Rome, where an architectural firm assembled the structure. The Living Chapel will remain at the Botanical Garden of Rome until social distancing rules permit its move to the Vatican and eventually Assisi. The ability to build something new in such a special place and know that it's going to stay there, that's, that's, it's a dream. I definitely like to see it up close once just to, you know, have that feeling, hey, that probably be when it'll sink in when we help build this. For PC Today, I'm Tom Spicer.